Charlie Brumfield Cemetery behind Charles Brumfield Sunoco Gas Station, Hearts, West Virginia. Buried here is a son and daughter of Ann Tony Brumfield. Ann Tony was a daughter of James and Nancy Gillespie Tony. Headstone for Charlie Brumfield, son of Paris and Ann Tony Brumfield, grandson of James and Nancy Gillespie Tony. Charlie killed his dad Paris in 1891, November 3rd. He was himself murdered December 12, 1926 on Big Hearts. Today's date's December 5th, 1995. Footstone for Charlie Brumfield. Birth date's wrong. It should read March 1868 instead of 1867. Footstone for his wife Caroline. Her death date was never put in, but it was 1927. Caroline was a sister to Holleen Brumfield and Harriet, both of whom married brothers to Charlie. Three brothers. Married three Dingus sisters, all daughters of Henderson and Sarah Sally Adams Dingus. Rachel <clears throat> Brumfield Spry, daughter of Paris and Antony Brumfield, granddaughter of James and Nancy Gillespie Tony. Her birth date should read March 1863 instead of 1859, according to census records. She married Ab Spry. They split up, and she spent the rest of her life in the company of a fellow named Will Workman. Rachel Brumfield Spry. Charlie Brumfield Cemetery, Hearts, December, December 5th, 1995. Charlie Brumfield Cemetery, again. Final look, December 5th, 1995. Behind Charles Brumfield, over in the Paris Brumfield, Mose Brown Cemetery, which few people know about. Uh, Charlie's oldest daughter kept it all grown up. She wouldn't let anybody put marked stones in it or clear it, which is kind of interesting. Look at the old Charlie Brumfield house, built in the teens, we think, around 1917, 18, maybe a little earlier, maybe a few years later. Five stones, graves that we found here uh, in the Parish Brumfield Cemetery. We don't know who's who, but when I was here last time, a few years ago, I only found two, but now we found five in the fall of the year when everything's a little 
the grass and weeds are all dead and gone and you can see a little better. <clears throat> Date December 5th, 1995. Again, one of five graves. It's the second of five graves here at the Parish Brumfield Cemetery. Five graves here at the Parish Brumfield Cemetery. Remember, Paris married Antonia, daughter James, and Nancy Gillespie Tony. That's why we're here on this tape. Antony was a sister to Mose Tony and all them other people that we saw earlier on the tape over on Little Heart and elsewhere. Cole, fourth of five graves. That's Brumfield Cemetery. But we spotted. Paris Brumfield Cemetery. This lies right at the head of the old the sinkhole I just showed you on the tape. Five, the five people supposed to be buried here are Paris and Ann, Tony Brumfield, their son John, who was killed in Chapmanville in 1900 on July 4th. And the last two are Moses and Letty Gillespie Brown, who Brown's Branch is named after, who raised Ann Tony, and who was a sister to Ann's mother. Ann's aunt raised her on Brown's branch. There's the five people supposed to be buried here and we found five graves. So there could be more, but that's all we know and it's pretty comforting that it all checks out. Look at the general layout of the land here at the Paris Brumfield Cemetery. Route 10 running. Very close by. Old Charlie Brumfield house. Over here at the what's now the Kirk Family Cemetery behind Irish Williams House on West Fork. Looking down at the older part of the cemetery which were our graves primarily unmarked, most belonging to the Vance family. But we've recently been told that there could very well be some Fowlers buried here because right on the adjacent property which you can't see for the brush, past this brush here this is where Rawls and Rawls Fowler and a lot of the Fowlers lived. Rawls' sister, too, who never married. <clears throat> so they could be buried here. We just don't know. December 5th, 1995. Grave of Eva. Brumfield, Kirk. Eva has Tony in her two different ways. Through her father, her daddy was William. They called him Bad Bill Brumfield. He was a brother to Al and Charlie Brumfield, among others. And he was the son of Paris and Ann Tony Brumfield. And Ann was the daughter of James Tony and Nancy Gillespie. Through her mother's side of the family, her mother was Helena Tiny Agins, and her her tiny's parents were Charles and Nerve Dingus Aggins, and Charles Aggins' parents was Isaiah and Mary Jane Tony Aggins, and Mary Jane was also a daughter of James and Nancy Gillespie Tony. So Eva is the product of two of of the children marrying from two of uh, the James Tony daughters. One of James Tony's daughters was Ann Tony, the other one was Mary Jane Tony, and down the line their kids and grandkids intermarried, and Eva was one of the products of that intermarriage. She married Thomas Patton Pat Kirk. Again, this is behind Irish Williams House on West Fork, December 5th, 1995. Fork Cemetery over behind Iris Williams, graves of two McLeod children. They're buried this way, but their headstones are that way, I was told a couple years ago. Interesting little story there. Out at the hill then is the old Vance and possibly Fowler graves, and then even further up are the Kirk family graves. And this is at West Fork, behind the Iris Williams place. And we'll take a little peek at Iris's setup here too. She has a very nice estate despite the fact I'm behind a clump of trees. It's very nice. Marsh Williams property on West Fork looking to what used to be the old Ross Fowler place, sitting somewhere over in this area. <clears throat> His sister also lived around here. And 
and you know of course all their kids and, and so on and so forth. This is an old Fowler estate here, even though it's probably long since passed out of Fowler hands. Looking up the creek from Iris Williams's. Another view of the Iris Williams property on West Fork. Nice place. Another look at the old uh, cemetery here on West Fork behind Iris Williams place. Iris has just informed me that there are 35 graves located in the old section and there are Fowlers and there are Vances here in addition to the people I've already shown you. And of course the Kirk Cemetery, I'm not focusing on it because there's uh, no relevance to it to this tape except through Eva who descends through the Tonys twice. So again, <coughs> when Eva's husband died he told his daughter Iris not to bury anybody below his and, and Eva's grave because uh, there were 35 or so graves down below there. Two of his brothers, one of his brothers that died young, one of his sisters, Vance's, Fowler's, McLeod's, and just a whole bunch of people down in here. So again, I wanted to put that information on the tape. That's pretty. Here in the Charlie Davis home down here at Hearts, right by the high school, Charlie's daddy was Samp Davis, and Samp was the son of Giles and Ann Francis Aggins Davis. And Ann was the daughter of Jake and Letty Kibben Tony Davis, or Aggins. Jake Aggins was Charlie's great grandpa. And this was Jake's gun, and he sold it to his son in law, Giles Davis, Charlie's grandpa, and then Giles traded it or sold it to his son, Sant Davis, and Sant did the same with Charlie, who now has it. This is an old Levi Rakes gun, and it's definitely, it was made back definitely in the 1800s. Old gun, Charlie has it. This is a family heirloom that's been handed down through, <clears throat> came through the Jake Aggins family. Jake had married uh, a Tony. Her mother was a Gillespie. She was a daughter of James and Nancy Gillespie Tony. And then it's been handed down subsequently to the Dave, through the Davis family who married into Jake's kids. Speaking of Charlie, here's a picture I found up here of him and his wife Elizabeth. She was a Smith. Good looking people. When they were younger. Dates December 5th, 1995. Closer look at this guy. What's really neat about it too is it has a pouch that comes and hangs here with it. And inside it are several items of interest. Against the pouch, you can see the powder horn there. I'm sure just several tools and you know many weapons and camping things and such. Some of it not <clears throat> dating back with the gun, but there are things in there that makes caps and things that the gun shoots for that means like this for instance. This is a tool used to uh, make the caps. Anyway, again this is an old Jake Aggins heirloom made by all this made by Levi Rex and Jake Aggins married a daughter of James and Nancy Gillespie Tony. Charlie Davis owns this at the present time. He's in his 80s. Lives in Hearts. Son of Sampson and Amanda Messer Davis.